And it was kind of remarkable how the answers were so similar. Uh, and I want folks to just take a listen. <laughs> I grew up a middle class kid. I was raised as a middle class kid. Focusing on, again, the aspirations and the dreams. I believe in the ambition, the aspirations, the dreams of the Americans. It's the same line. I was a career <laughs> prosecutor for most of my career. I started my career as a prosecutor. And creating an opportunity economy where it's about investing in areas <laughs> that really need a lot of work. I intend to create an opportunity economy. Well, I'm obviously not Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. Clearly, I am not Joe Biden. Clap it up for you, all <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, clap it up for her, man. I tell you, she was in the, at the top of the class. Valley Victorian, uh, highest GPA. Everybody was cheating off of her uh, for the answers. Excuse me, uh, Kamala, Kamala, uh, Chameleon. Uh, what's your name again? I'm so sorry. Uh, do you have last night's homework? Thank you so much. You're such a blessing. You're such an amazing person. Thank you for sharing the answers. So you, you actually studied? You did? That's good for you. You studied. Good. Can I sit in, uh, next to you on Friday? We have uh, an exam. Because <laughs> I tell y'all, she is rehearsing this script, studying this script. Uh, she studied it good. She she memorizes it uh, 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 to a T, and that's all she remembers. She doesn't have a plan, you know. She doesn't have any ideas. Not she doesn't even probably know what. The, boy, uh, man, prayers for America. Prayers they don't they they don't let this 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 that that the American people ain't and we're not stupid. People see what's going on. People see this. People see what's going on. It's right here, live, in their face. Please don't be stupid, y'all. Please, please. Oh, God damn. <laughs> look, I know y'all hate Trump. I know, look, I know some of y'all are Trump deranged. You're stage four, but God, don't do this. Look, look, I know you, your feelings might be hurt. It's okay, though. A president. Is a president that's best. You, you, your feelings are supposed. You need somebody in there with you know that that that, that ain't that that that's that. Yeah, they feelings still hurt. Ain't they at stage four? Ain't no coming back. They feelings are still hurt. They still believe the fake headlines, the bias reporting, the fake news, the enemy of the people, the mainstream media. They still believe family and friends. They can't think for themselves. They still believe that, you know, it actually, uh, Trump has actually said this when it's been debunked. And when you go and watch the full clip, you know, they actually lied on them. You know, and they've been lying on them for, for the past years, since 2016. Everybody turned against them. The media turned against them. But come on, y'all, don't do this. Don't do Because <laughs> I tell you. If, if this makes it, and this, I'm telling you, DEI didn't earn it. You see why she didn't get not one single vote? Most unpopular. You see why? Some of y'all are still waiting for her to answer on the economy. On the board. I mean, and all she, all they, all she can say is Trump. Uh, 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 didn't, didn't was against a border bill that was still gonna let millions in, still fund the war. Still, you know, it's hey, I'm just saying, she still can't tell you a you know, an answer, she can't give you an answer to the most important question. Just saying, man, you know, but y'all clap it up, she's done an amazing job. Uh, uh, studying the script, rehearsing, and she repeats the lines. And I think she, as I'm recording right now, she's repeating the lines and just making sure, you know, that she's ready to go for this upcoming week. Yeah. Ah. That the vast majority of us as Americans have so much more in common than what separates us. We all have so much more in common than what separates us. <laughs> what was going on, family? I hope y'all are blessed, well, and healthy, man. Now, 2024 is treating you well. That you made it through the week. Getting to the weekend. That you get to spend time with your loved ones, man.
Don't take the little things for granted like I tell y'all, man. Do not take the little things for granted. You're here, then you're gone. We live in a fast time travel, man. And this is why I push myself to spread as much love as I can to you guys. You know, you guys, are we're, we're family here, brothers and sisters. My brothers and my sisters, man, around the world, one love to the human race. Check on your people. Suicide rates are up. Depression, anxiety, PTSD is up, man. They're not even reporting it, I'm telling you. It's up. People are struggling. Millions are struggling and dying right now as we speak. Have died. Just being real with y'all, man. But you just can't make this stuff up, you know, as y'all can see. Uh, it's just ridiculous, man. A lot of people need to be held accountable, you know, fired, you know, they should lose their licenses. Tons of people, they, they owe Trump an apology. And, you know, at this point we're at now, after all the things we've covered, everybody owes Trump an apology. I'm just being real, man. Everybody owes Trump an apology. You know, they have wiped this man through the money. Y'all see all the things that, that, that are hitting the fan. And before November 5th, more things are going to hit the fan. And prayers for Trump. Let's be, I'll, be, I'll be real with you. Prayers for Trump and his family, his protection, his team, his campaign. You know, I told you, it's even going to get even more spicier after that, after RFK Jr. endorsement. And now you're seeing the, the big heavy hitters come out. I'm telling you, I'll be ready, man. We're here to cover it. You know, a lot of people are still talking about this debate. This three verse one, those moderators. How she got fact checked by the, <laughs> them their entire world. Entire, the, we the people. American soldiers. Everybody fact checked at this lady. It's not looking good. And now they predict what's coming this coming up this upcoming week is for her polling to even drop it even more like it's hot. And they're in they're in des desperate desperate what we call it, the desperation mode. Tim Walls just dropped an ad of him working on his his truck. A, a, a mechanic. <laughs> we got a video coming on that, man. They're gonna try anything, and I and I won't be surprised next if they try to do a rally and have and uh, I do have a, a Taylor Swift concert. They are desperate, man. Cause they see that a lot of people are waking up. And people that are lifelong Democrats, anti-Trumpers, never Trumpers, people, uh, you know, having a change of heart and then they're now on the Trump train. They see that, man. They see that Trump is skyrocketing with blacks, with Latino, with, with, with GNZ. They see it, man. Well, let's go and check this out, y'all. Shout out to Liberal Hive, man. I'll leave the original link in the description box down below. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. You know, welcome to the show. We keep it real. We spread love. Simple as that. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people love it. Hey. Welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Okay, so things just got a little bit interesting. I mean, it's likely the thumbnail or possibly the title title of this video has the word whistleblower within it so you already know that it's getting spicy and of course that's exactly what's happening it might yeah. just be as bad as we thought it was i said in jest in joking you know although kind of also implying that i literally believe that a couple days ago that kamala harris probably had all the questions in the debate given to her ahead of time so she could scurry off down into the basement to prepare for a week <laughs> i said this because obviously it wouldn't be so surprising considering in 2016 donna brazil gave hillary clinton the questions ahead of the the debate we all know this this is a widely acknowledged and reported fact so essentially i was saying it in jest but also serious but now considering the latest report on this story oh how naive i may have been in my dismissive attitude we now have a whistleblower drop that suggests that not only was kamala harris given the questions in advance but that allegedly she dictated the questions from the start now i have to preface the video by saying this is just an allegation from a whistleblower nothing is yet confirmed 
But like I said, the situation's getting interesting here. Let's have a conversation about that. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so here's the news report. None of that, none of that comes out. Fortunately, we now have a whistleblower, and I'm going to tell you something, uh, Maria. We're going to we're gonna do what we can to bring ABC uh, in uh, and, and uh, have them answer some questions, uh, and as well as have this whistleblower. Have you seen their show? Their show now is... Uh, at a 27 percent of lost viewers i told y'all they might see 30 30 and i hope 40 50 percent and then and then uh out, especially as we get close to november but they've lost all credibility man and those moderators should be fired terminated they should lose their licenses man they've lost all credibility And he, he came on there saying, it's just noise. What you guys are hearing about this debate, just us, us, us moderators not fact-checking Trump and it being rigged three verse one, it's just noise. They are just noise. He called us just noise. <laughs> yeah, now you got a lot of people tuning out. <laughs> hey, man. And see what's going on as they're trying to tear down the First Amendment. I'm glad you mentioned this because Fox News is reaching out to ABC for response to that affidavit and uh, this Bill Ackman post about this whistleblower. We want answers, but Bill Ackman posted this on X about an alleged ABC whistleblower affidavit that says Harris's campaign dictated the debate questions, camera angles, and the fact checking of Trump at the debate. He writes, quote, sadly for the state of truth in media, I expect the whistleblower allegations will be deemed to be true. Ackman also pointed out that ABC News' David Meir and Lindsey Davis have yet to make any statements on the alleged affidavit. He said, quote, if you are not guilty as alleged, you have no choice but to immediately issue a statement denying the claims for silence is an admission of complicity. ABC News has already denied allegations of collusion between the presidential debate moderators and the Harris campaign. We know Lindsey Davis is her sorority sister, but they told the Daily Beast last week, absolutely not. Harris was not given any questions before the debate. We've reached out to ABC to verify the affidavit and for a statement on these accusations, Congressman. But this affidavit and this whistleblower story is gaining traction. Uh, yes, absolutely, and, and as it should. We we need to have let's find out what the truth is. And the thing is, this we all saw it. We we actually don't need a hearing to know what we saw. Yeah, we all but, saw it. Everybody saw it. I mean, everybody was mad, screaming at their TV. And I, I'm glad everybody noticed the camera angles and every. I mean, everything. And I'm glad that this calls for just everybody to 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 that. That were even that were going for Kamala called her out. I seen a lot of that, man. I seen a lot of people that are that were going to the voting booth to vote Kamala Harris call this debate for what it was. They called they called out everything, and they even fact checked it, fact checked her. And I tell you, tons of people had a chain a uh, 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 a switch. A change. Especially with independent. After that debate, tons are swinging with Trump, man. Tons are swinging with Trump. I've even talked to tons of people that said after that debate, I'm voting Trump. I've talked to a couple people. You know, and then uh, and I'm glad that everybody's clipping. They call it clipping. Clipping is when you scroll down, you know, your social media pages, X, you know, Facebook. And, you know, you don't you don't follow these accounts, but it's just on your timeline, your for you page, TikTok. And what people do is they call it clipping. So they just post these these clips. And they basically, you know, they basically show you what's going on. So a lot of people see what's going on, man. Shout out to social media. Shout out to these platforms, man. It's, it's actually woken up a lot of people, you know, even our channels, me as a creator. We've, we've woken up a lot of people, man.
but we're, we're going to look to do it so as we can provide some evidence as to how manipulative that they are. The Daily Mail also wrote an article, The Bombshell Claims of ABC Whistleblower, who says Harris got help in the debate. Several bombshell claims were made last week in an unverified document circulating online, purporting to prove close collaboration between ABC News and Kamala Harris's team before her debate with former President Donald Trump. The document is claimed to be a sworn statement penned by a staffer at ABC News. It was first published on Sunday by an ex-account with the name of Black Insurrectionist. The document, said to be a sworn affidavit, signed by a notary public the day before the debate, says the network gave Harris questions ahead of time while agreeing to a series of other preconditions to give the vice president an advantage over Trump. Also prohibited at the debate were inquiries about Harris's stint as California Attorney General, as well as those involving her brother-in-law, Tony West. The document shows and includes several other stipulations, as well as redactions obscuring the supposed staffer's identity. So we have the actual affidavit. Here's the really important, you know, meat of it all. The Harris campaign received particular accommodations, including, but not limited to, the providing of a podium significantly smaller than that used by Donald Trump, and assurances regarding split-screen television views that would favorably impact Kamala Harris's appearance relative to Donald Trump. This I 100% believe, and I noted this on the night of, if you look at the camera angles, it's very subtle, but during the double headshots, Kamala Harris was always placed slightly above Donald Trump. Her head was just slightly higher on the camera shot, giving her this impressive stance. You know, the reality probably should have looked something a little bit more like this, but instead they fixed it <laughs> a different situation because they don't want her to appear small and frail. You know, it's a Hollywood production. <laughs> yeah. I believe this claim absolutely. But let's move on with the affidavit here. It was agreed that Donald Trump would be subjected to fact-checking during the debate while Kamala Harris would not face comparable scrutiny. This was widely known throughout the company that Donald Trump would be fact-checked. In fact, various people were assigned to fact-checked observations that Trump would make during the debate. In fact, the Harris campaign required multiple assurances that Donald Trump would be fact-checked. Now that I certainly believe. I mean, I'm sure we could put together a little clip here that'll put it into perspective instantly. There is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. President Trump, as you know, the FBI says overall violent crime is actually coming down in this country. But the question was about you as president, not about former Speaker Pelosi. I did watch all of these pieces of video. I, I, I didn't detect the sarcasm lost by a whisker. Vice President Harris, he's... Me, uh, I'm telling y'all, that, that right there still bothers me. Nobody cares what you can detect it, boy. Nobody cares what you detected. That was like the jackass moment of the entire debate, man. And that, that, that sent a lot of people over the edge, you know. If you were watching it real time... says you hate Israel. You did bring up something. You said she went to negotiate with Vladimir Putin. Vice President Harris, have you ever met Vladimir Putin? So just a yes or no, you still do not have a plan. Vice President to stop Harris, him. thank you. President Harris, thank you. And again, let me remind you that this affidavit allegedly was dated and signed on September 9th, 2024 and signed by a notary. So supposedly this ABC whistleblower said all of this before it actually happened then. Well, it actually happened. And of course, the damning and shocking element of it all, it all happened on behalf of the Harris campaign. Allegedly, and that continues to be the trend here. The Harris campaign was supposedly provided with sample questions that were not the exact questions, but covered similar topics that would appear during the debate. So essentially, they gave the questions ahead of time, and then it gets even deeper. Furthermore, the Harris campaign imposed restrictions on the scope of questioning, including no questions regarding the perceived health of President Joe Biden. And that's like the biggest issue. And notice ABC didn't ask a single question. No inquiries related to her tenure as Attorney General in San Francisco. In other words, the stuff that took her down back in 2020. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. Yeah, that's totally off limits now, isn't it? And really, in hindsight, not a single question from ABC News, I mean, really highlights the hypocrisy and the bias. No questions concerning her brother-in-law, Tony West, who faces allegations of embezzling billions of dollars in taxpayer funds and who may be involved in her administration if elected. And then the rest of the affidavit just goes on and on about the internal media bias against Donald Trump. And so that's pretty much the meat of it. ABC News, of 
course, is addressing the whistleblower, saying it's, so oh, it's fake news, never actually happened. But I'm thinking regardless of whether or not it's actually true, it is technically still true because all of this is what happened. Avoiding important issues, some of the most discussed topics in the political sphere, you know, something that's widely viewed as one of Kamala Harris's weakest points, the idea that she's Joe Biden's vice president and she sat for the last four years essentially lying to the American people that Joe Biden was okay when he wasn't. But ABC News never covered it. They spent the whole night attacking Donald Trump and didn't go into anything that's even slightly controversial relating to Kamala Harris. So whether this whistleblower allegation is true or not, whether this guy actually worked for ABC News, the actual content of it is true. Now the only thing left to find out is whether the allegation that Kamala Harris's campaign was behind it all, orchestrating this whole thing, that's where it gets interesting. ABC News is going to say, oh, it's fake news. The left is going to say, oh, it's fake news. But I'm saying, let's wait for more information. Maybe we'll find out who the actual individual is. I think there's already a GOP congressional inquiry on the subject, so we'll probably get to the bottom of this. I'm not going to instantly dismiss it. I think it's quite believable. If an actual legitimate notary signed on to this as a September 9th affidavit, then that makes it even more interesting. Let's see how deep the rabbit hole goes, I guess. And let's, of course, see how ABC continues to defend itself. You know, let's just say David Muir's defense isn't exactly holding up as of yet. I, I will say this about the debate. You guys know me more, better than anyone. You know, I, I basically disappeared for the end of the summer because of the weight, the weight of this debate. You, yes. you take it seriously, Lindsay and I, and this extraordinary small team we have mm -hmm. at ABC. And we spent a lot of time, and I believe it was our duty to ask the issues that, that Americans care about. You know, the economy, are we better off than we were four okay. years ago? Immigration, what are you going to do about the border? Why did you wait so long before you acted on the border? Those, those types of questions. Mm -hmm. Reproductive rights, Afghanistan, do you bear any responsibility? Uh, peaceful transfer of power with the next election coming. You know, these are all really important issues. The issues of our time, really. And I always say as a moderator, you know, what the candidates decide to do with that time, you can ask the questions, but they'll answer with whatever they choose to answer with. That's right. And you have to be ready for whatever might come your way, even the most unexpected of moments. <laughs> uh, as you all know, you know what I'm talking about. Right. And, and, and I will say this. All of the noise that you hear afterward about, you know, which candidate won the debate, did the moderators win or lose, that's just noise. Yeah. You all know that. The There's most no important words. thing to remember is that you all have the power. Everybody at home yes. has the power to go. There's no words. You know, almost a sociopathic response. Yeah, you know, all the talk of our corruption and everything we did and all the moderators ganging up on one candidate. Yeah, that's just noise. Just ignore all that noise. We know how this is done because we're the professionals. I mean, give me a freaking break with this you guys all have the power nonsense. Yeah, we could be as corrupt as we want, but you guys at the end of the day still go out and vote. Just ignore the fact that we're manipulating droves of uneducated, susceptible people. Just ignore all that noise. What a joke. Complete we gotta get joke, to the bottom man. of this Complete because joke. these debates are becoming a global laughing stock. And now we've got Democrats unwilling to do debates on networks that, you know, frankly, they probably don't control. It's an absolute mockery. And if what's being alleged is happening, well, it simply shouldn't be allowed to stand. So I guess we'll see what happens. But that's pretty much what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you You just can't make it up, y'all. You just can't, man. They need to be boycotted. Canceled. Simple. They have lost all credibility, man. Not, not, not trusted. Ever again. You know, these, these news networks, man. These, these reporting, these reporting networks there you know just turn it all off abc you know cb cbc cnd msnbc cnn you know just you know cancel disney i mean i, I had to be honest with you <laughs> they say take your kids anywhere than disneyland <laughs> we're not going to disneyland <laughs> You know, unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. But I love you guys. Let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one, man. Peace and love, y'all.